It happens in every church. It happens when the business of doing ministry becomes the ministry. It's when we believe the color of the carpet, the strength of our audiovisual system, demographics, events, programs, and activities become more important than our own spiritual growth and development, become more important than engaging people who are currently outside the church. Greetings. I'm Junius Dodson, General Secretary of Discipleship Ministries. I'm here on the set of our latest short film called Let Me Show You Something. It's the second of our discussion starters connected to see all the people. Well, I call it intentional discipleship. And the key is developing a discipleship pathway, a process, a system that changes the fundamental way you do church. There are several models or systems in the book uh, called A Guide to Invitational Discipleship, but it would be a mistake to just take one of these models and superficially add it to your church without starting with the why and then addressing the culture of your church. Uh, what I'm suggesting is that just simply adding a model won't do. What I'm suggesting is that changing the culture is the strategy. Dharmesh Shah, co-founder of HubSpot, said that in our early years, we didn't talk about culture. We hadn't documented it at all. We just built a business that we wanted to work in, and that was great. But the real return on culture happened when we started getting more deliberate about it by writing it down, by debating it, by taking it apart, polishing the pieces, and putting it back together, iterating again and again. Culture is the strategy. Developing an intentional discipleship system to fundamentally change the culture of the local church from fixing and tinkering to relationship and discipleship. And when we do this, we do it not to simply fill our pews, but to live into the great commandment, to love God with all your heart, mind, spirit, and soul, and to love your neighbor as you love yourself, and to live into the great commission, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. I believe the results will be passionate followers of Christ who are committed to not only their own spiritual growth, but also helping others discover and follow Jesus. The result the byproduct, the fruit, are vital, vibrant, healthy congregations. So here's a question. How do you change the culture of your church to stay connected to its why and to remain relentlessly focused on making disciples of Jesus Christ? Let me offer just quick two principles. Number one, keep the end in mind. The essence of leadership is knowing the direction in which you desire to travel and being able to influence the head, hands, and heart of others to follow you there. The question we're trying to answer is, what is our intentional plan of discipleship? What is our process? What is our pathway? How do people grow and progress spiritually in this body of believers? When members don't know what to do, they do nothing. Are we intentional about helping people develop a godly vision for their lives? Are we intentional about helping people experience the nature of holistic salvation? So keep the end in mind. Number two, take a risk. Experience something. Try new ways to engage your community immediately. Please don't take a year to design your intentional process of discipleship. Please don't adopt a we have to get ourselves right mentality before we can reach out to others. Because quite frankly, that won't happen until Jesus comes back. We have to build this bridge and cross it at the same time. The results may surprise you. I want to offer this word of encouragement. God, by his mighty power and work within us, is able to do far more than we would ever dare to ask or even dream of, infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, or hopes. Thanks for being a part of See All the People. Go to seeallthepeople.org to download the free book and learn more about how to be a part of this important movement. Thank you.